Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the pixellab.net. This is Jordan Condell and I have a question for you today. I was wondering if you've ever been in After Effects and have had an object and you thought to yourself, man, I wish After Effects had a cloner object, right? This happened to me a lot and finally I found Echo Space, which is a uh, plugin by Trapcode and it's part of the trap code suite. So if you have that, you have echo space in there. And for the longest time, I just kind of ignored it because I didn't really understand the functionality of it. But recently I've been playing with it a lot more and uh, I've been kind of blown away. So the way to think about echo space is basically, this is the cloner object for After Effects. So let's go ahead and show you how we can use this guy. So the first thing you need to know is you need to uh, pre-compose. So let's go ahead and later pre-compose this little icon. And let's go to Effect, Trap Code, and then Echo Space. So let's go ahead and twirl down our setup and our repeater and talk about this. So the instances is pretty obvious. It's how many clones you'll have, basically. And then the layer delay is the uh, kind of the offset of animation between these guys. So let's go ahead and kick this up maybe to uh, 15 or so. And let's do 10 instances. And then all of these repeater options, uh, you can change these after we clone it. So let's go ahead and hit repeat. So now you'll notice that we have a bunch of different comps in here and they're all sort of staggered, right? So that's because of the instances uh, layer delay. And if you bump this up, these will be staggered even farther apart in time. And then we have a bunch of different nulls. Now the nice thing is the shy switch on all these is set for the ones that you don't really need to worry about. So let's go ahead and hit the shy button. And now we'll end up with our main pre-comp with the echo space plugin on it and then we have a main null which we can use to kind of move everything around so now that we've cloned it we have to kind of specify where we want these clones to go right so let's go ahead and hit zero on the z and let me just do the x for now so there you go we have our clones and if we want to move them around we can move them with our null right so this is great. Let's say that we want uh, more clones. How is that gonna happen? Well, you can't just kind of bump this up. It's not gonna work like that. What you need to do is clean it first and then redo it. So let's go ahead and unshy these again and hit clean. And that basically means it's gonna delete all the clones. And then you can go in here and change the amount of clones. Let's just do 20 and we'll hit repeat again. And it's gonna keep the same kind of uh, parameters and it's just gonna repeat them adding more clones. So then we'll hit the shy switch and now we have 20 copies, right? Very, very cool. So one thing that you'll probably want to use this for is doing circles rather than just lines. So let's go ahead and turn off the X offset and let's play around with some of these rotation elements. So the Z rotate is going to kind of bring this guy around into a full circle, right? And uh, what's going to happen is if we scale this down, go ahead and scale it down and move it over. Um, what we're going to need to do to space these uh, farther apart from each other is actually play with the anchor point on the main comp. So the anchor point is where it's going to rotate from. So if we kind of move the anchor point, it'll spread these out farther. So if you want to spread them out farther from each other, you'll change the anchor point and then you can go back to the null and scale it back down. So now they're spaced a little bit further apart. So that's what you need to do. It's kind of a dance between the, the anchor point and then also, which is kind of cool, is if you uh, change the anchor point on both of them, you get kind of this spiraling look, which is really cool. And you can animate stuff on like this. Now, let's go ahead and show you what's actually going on here. Let's unshy this. Because of our delay, they're actually popping on individually, which is really, really nice. And then, of course, you can go into the pre-comp and just do some quick parameter changes in here. And that's gonna be able to add even more animation to this guy. So let's go ahead and hit our scale button. And we'll move that scale over and then change this to 100%. So we have kind of an, a really simple scale up, right? Let's make that a bit quicker, even quicker, something like that. And now if we go back to our pre-comp and hit RAM preview, they're sort of scaling up from zero. So that's kind of how you would do, I guess the equivalent of adding a shader effector and affecting the scale parameter, right? So now they're kind of coming up uh, from zero scale up to 100. And uh, now we're getting kind of a nice little animation here. So the cool thing is once we have this animation set, we have all of these parameters that we can play around with. We have the random effector parameter. So basically this is like a shader and a random and a cloner all in one, right? So if you're uh, familiar with Cinema 40, this is gonna be really easy for you to kind of figure out. And then we have our opacity, which we could animate on to have them sort of fade up by opacity, or we could go into the pre-comp and do that too. 
So we have lots of different parameters in here that we can just play around with and make some really, really cool animations. So that is Echo Space. That's just a really quick look at it and some of the very basic functionality. There's just so much you can do with this and the ability to clone uh, 2D elements in After Effects is very, very powerful. So I was definitely very excited when I kind of learned a little bit more about this plugin. I definitely hope that you pick it up from Trap Code. Definitely get the Trap Code suite. I think there's a pretty good discount on that. And uh, if you're a motion designer, you really need to have all those tools. So I'll probably be going over some of those other tools in the future here. But I was just really excited about Echo Space and wanted to make sure you guys are aware of it and uh, kind of know some of the, the functionality of it. Check it out. Have fun playing around with it. And uh, thanks for checking out the pixellab.net. We'll talk again next time. Bye, everybody.